In other videos, we've taken a look at some of the differences between OLAP and OLTP. For instance, demonstrating that OLAP works well with second normal form, while OLTP is best at least up to 3NF, or third normal form. In this video, we're going to compare OLAP and OLTP in another way by talking about slowly changing dimensions. What this refers to is the fact that the data in your dimensions, the values of the attributes in your dimensions, and uh, the size of your dimensions, over time changes. For instance, let's take an example of a customer, of a customer dimension. Over time, you'll add new customers, and those customers will change their information. They may change their address. A customer might get married and change her last name. In one of my first development OLAP projects, I was asked by a cable company to deal with a particular problem that they were having. And that was that their customers would call them and they would cancel one service. For instance, they didn't want HBO any longer. And so they would go into the system and they would remove HBO from the customer's profile. Then when the salesperson was looking over customer profiles, he would notice that that customer did not have HBO. So that sales representative would call the customer and try to sell them HBO. And they had no way to track those changes over time. So what we find out is that in OLTP and OLAP, updates can have very different effects. In an OLTP system, an update is the equivalent of a delete. When you make a change to data, whatever the data was previously is no longer there. If you change someone's name, if you change someone's address, the old address is gone. And the view that you have of the data is the view of what the data looks like today. OLAP, on the other hand, gives you the ability to track the changes that occur over time. So in an OLAP environment, an update can be the equivalent of an insert, and you don't lose the old data. Instead, you add the new data, and now you have all of the old data and the new values, and you can now run reports or do queries that give you more intelligence. OLAP allows you to track changes to dimensions over time using a, a theory called slowly changing dimensions, or SCDs. We're going to mention a few types here so that you have a basic overview and understanding of what OLAP has to offer. So the type 1 slowly changing dimension is very simple. You just overwrite the dimension value and you keep no history. But if you do wish to track historical data, you might want to go with a type 2 or a type 3. In a type 2 slowly changing dimension, you'll add a new record. And that new record will contain a new surrogate key. And surrogate keys are keys inside of your data warehouse as opposed to the keys that are used by the transactional system. But this new record will map back to the same transactional key, the same business key. And this way you have an unlimited history because as the dimension attributes change, you simply add new records and you don't delete any of the old data so that when you run reports, your reports can include complete historical data. Type 3 also allows you to track changes, but you do it in columns. So the number of changes that you're allowed to track are limited to the number of columns you want to add to that dimension table. For instance, maybe you only want to see the current and the previous. So hopefully that helps you understand a few more of the differences between OLTP and OLAP and provides you more information about the benefits of using OLAP for your reporting needs. Please remember to subscribe.